had the option of laser eye surgery, the only way for treating vision problems was with eyeglasses or contact lenses. Treatments have come a long way, but how do you know if this is right for you? Dr. Jeffrey Gold is a board certified and award winning ophthalmologist who specializes in laser vision correction procedures. Doctor, it's nice to see you again. Welcome Thank to the show. Thank you for having me back. So today we're talking about a newer form of LASIK surgery. Well, actually, it's the, a newer version of the oldest form that we had. Okay. Originally, the FDA approved us back in the early 90s for PRK, and PRK involved no cutting. Okay. But it had a prolonged recovery period, a prolonged visual recovery, and was very painful. The next thing that happened around 1995 was they approved LASIK, and everybody jumped to LASIK, almost everybody. Including uh, yourself? Including me because the recovery period was non-existent. People were, had their vision back the next morning mm -hmm. uh, after just a good night's sleep. But over time, it became apparent that LASIK may not be so terribly safe. And I can show you with this model why that particularly happens. In LASIK, we cut the cornea, fold back what's called a flap, and then the laser correction is done in the th deep in the third layer of the cornea. The flap goes back down, the edges seal overnight, but this is relatively new information. From here to here, for in the bed of the cornea, never heals. Oh. We used to think it would heal 10, 15 years, but now we know it never heals. Okay. And that's the reason I don't do LASIK anymore. Because if a person has LASIK and 5, 10, 20 years later gets hit in the eye and that flap comes loose, if they can't find me in an hour to fix it, that eye's in big trouble and might need a corneal transplant. So this new procedure is called EpiLASIK. It's called EpiLASIK because all we do is take off the epithelium and we have an image that compares LASIK to EpiLASIK. LASIK is on the right and you can see the flap folded back. EpiLASIK is on the left and you see there's no flap there. The procedure is safer because there's no cutting, safer in the long run because there's no risk of the flap being dislodged. It causes less dry eye it causes a better quality of vision because all we have to do is get that epithelium to heal smooth and that's a piece of cake. It's non-painful and it's a wonderful procedure. It seems like it would almost be easier than buying contacts every couple months. Not just easier, in the long term it's less expensive and there's well-documented studies that show that over the long haul there's a higher risk of infection in chronic contact lens wearers than there is with epilasic. Let's put up our other picture. It shows that there, there really is no cutting or incision like you mentioned. You're yep. just kind of separating? That's right. You can see that white device is a blunt tip plastic separator and it just pushes off the epithelium much like a snow plow pushes the snow off your driveway. And that layer then it, with, with the epithelium gone, I have exposed to me the second layer down where I do the laser vision correction and then that layer grows back over the next three days. So are there any pros to having the other form of LASIK or is it, do you think it's going to be obsolete? Only the instant gratification. Okay. And that is that you wake up the next morning and your vision is typically back to where it's going to be. Whereas with EpiLASIK it's a slightly slower process. The vision is a, still a little bit blurry during those first three days. But people can function. They can work, they can drive, they can play. Oh, if you can uh, drive it must not be too bad Absolutely. Then. And the only restriction that I put on my patients is no swimming for about a week. Okay. Now, doctor, is this a permanent procedure? It is. The all of the laser vision correction procedures that we've that that have been available to us over the years create permanent vision change. Great. All right. Let's put the information up on the screen. If you want to learn more about EpiLASIK, you could contact Dr. Gold at Liberty Vision. Uh, it's the phone number is 203-281-5745, and you could check out their website. It's libertyvision.net. Dr. Gold, that was very informative. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. Coming up next, we're in the kitchen. Cooking instructor Claudia Chwinski shares her recipe for orange stir-fried chicken. That's when we come back. Don't go anywhere.